Hello, Bazookas! My name is Hotsasi and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Where well, last time we noticed that here uh, at our research lab one train is missing and it's the military science train. That's why we don't have any progress in our research. And we also started to look into why that is but postpone the anything further to this episode so i think let's go down there to see what's what and what we can do about the what's when we look at the situation down here we can see there is one train waiting for picking the science packs up but there is nothing in the chest but if we then go down here we can see there is a train that uh, is just delivering uh, down here and on these two stations we have plenty of science pack so basically we have an imbalance of where the trains are to pick things up and where the goods are to be picked up and the way uh, the trains choose the stations is uh, if they have multiple choices um, they go to the nearest and that's basically true here on this side because the delivery train if it can go to this station will always go to this station and here on the upper side if uh, this station is available for pickup the train will always choose this one and this of course is a problem especially when we have one pickup train and one delivery train because then delivery will always be down here until this is completely backfilled uh, and only then it will move to the to the other uh, train station to deliver things there so there are multiple things that we can do uh, one of the of the first things is probably we should have a second train for the pickup of the of the science packs because um, if we want to have continuous research and we have a look at our lab There we basically don't have a, a buffer for the science packs. The buffer is essentially the train cargo wagon. So if we want to have continuous uh, research, we have to have a train standing there at all times. And if we only have one train per science pack, that does not work. So now this train is being loaded um, let's copy the schedule over uh, pick up train fueling delivery i think the train fueling should go there because we don't want to sit have the train sitting in the train fueling if the delivery uh, station is occupied so let's change change that here too that's one thing sorted then we probably could also do with another train up there I need more more coal 
luckily I have some in my car because I constantly need to uh, refuel some of the, the starter furnaces and starter burning miner that are still there that have done a good job throughout this series don't regret to have them aside from the need that they constantly need refueling okay I think we can send that train on the way and now a bit the, the, the more difficult part what we also want to direct the trains to the station where the input materials are needed. Meaning the station that has no, nothing, nothing to load. And with the setup, we have two delivery stations. So the train will decide this one or that one and independent of which one the train chooses on here we will always get some input materials to be produced so we can ignore this pickup station and then basically we only have to tie this pickup station to that delivery station this pickup station to that delivery station and the way we do that is um, we have this on here um, and connect that there um, and here we want to have the count of this of the military science pack that should be what do we have here 4000 and a train can hold 8000 so let's say if we have less than a train few full stored there um, then we will put out a signal let's make this a yellow signal and we will make it one signal and yes that's currently true so let's then use a bit of green wire and bring that part over here And here we have the green signal. Green signal uh, indicates um, all these chests, or three green signals indicate all these chests are empty and ready to receive. Um, what we should do now is instead of uh, an L signal which we use to uh, control the uh, wire there let's have a yellow signal here uh, we will disconnect that one we will connect this to here and that to here so and here we count the yellow signals and we will put out this signal to control the uh, the the to control the train limit so now we have two yellow signals and 
what we want is we need at least one yellow signal right is that correct either we have space here or we have space there so if we look at this down here currently i think this is also a bit um we deliver if uh, if we have one ingredients missing And I think we should change that. We should change that. How should we change that? Larger than three, meaning let's make this. If we have more than one ingredients missing, only then we output the signal. So That still doesn't look right. Because here I would expect. I, I have to wrap my mind around this one. It's been a while since I uh, did this. So. If we have more than thousand balls in here we send out okay if we have enough materials in here so basically if we reset this the way it was it was like this right let's let's copy that and make that the yellow signal again so basically we get a signal for each of these ingredients if there is enough in here if enough is in here we get three signals Okay, we only get Okay, maybe let, let's do it this way. Only if we have enough of everything. Or not enough of everything. Then we put out a yellow signal.
Yeah, because currently we get we get zero in. That seems to work. So let's try to implement the same thing down here. Where we connect this and then green wire to the other side. And then let's do a bit more copying. from here to there and then can remove this wire but add the wire there right because currently this one does not accept any trains because one we have walls still in here these chests should be empty but also from the other side we are not receiving a yellow signal so that should work out better um we can send this train on its way And now we can see we are loading this train as well. And I would guess we have similar issues also in other places. I mean, we don't have this connection from output to input anywhere. And here we do have two delivery trains. Uh, we have one delivery train, but two pickup trains. And this one is also stuck up here, while we have plenty uh, of goods down there. So I think I will go around and add this setup that we have here for all our science stations um, uh, at the all the missing trains so we have for every science two uh, pickup trains uh, but also two delivery trains to ensure a smooth flow of materials and then we have to see further down the pipeline is there any other factory that would benefit from from such a setup so do we have any other stations where a, way a train is waiting on one station but materials are delivered at the wrong input stations and uh, that train will wait for a long time until it actually gets any products to be loaded. All science factories are upgraded and uh, have at least two pickup and delivery trains and life is good again. We are researching at moderate speed I would say. Uh, all we have all science pack trains uh, sitting here so that's good and then we can see looking here here we have a train sitting at a pickup station but it's the it's the middle one and that's because the destination is full here we have one destination full here we have another one destination full destination full destination full 
Full, full. Do we have anything down here? No. Then up here. I think these are... We have a gem there. That's not good. That's not good. Um, need to sort out that train issue. But other than that, I think we are good um, with this setup. We don't need this amount of fine-tuned control for other stations. Um, and we shall see in the next episode how we are actually doing with uh, science, how many science packs we are producing um, and hopefully we can then uh, come up with a number of science packs per second that we want to achieve in order to reach the goal of this series. So hope you enjoyed this one and join me next time for more Beltless Factorio. Until then, goodbye!